what's up you guys welcome back to my channel yo girl dyed her hair i changed my hair color so that's what this entire video is going to be about um, i posted a vlog on our vlog channel which i'll go ahead and link right somewhere right up here but i posted a vlog where i took you to the salon with me and i showed you basically the process from beginning to end in this video i'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with the details of it because the vlog was just like come with me to the salon pretty broad but in this video i am going to talk about like what i asked for for i'm going to show you inspo pictures the process how long it took and on camera looks a little bit more warm than it does in person just a little side note and another little side note within one of my next few videos you're gonna see that i have dark hair that's because that video was pre-filmed it's not because i dyed my hair back to black it's just that video is pre-filmed so sometime either next week or the week after you're gonna see a video with dark hair i did not dye it back to black so i have my little paper here full of notes from that day and then towards the end of this video i'm also gonna do a hair care haul because i bought some new hair products so first we'll talk about what i asked for like how you can get this look and let me give you like an overall let me do a little spin for you guys this is how my hair looks on camera. Just keep in mind, in person, it's not this warm. I know on camera it looks a little bit too warm, but in person, it does not look like this. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see more or less how the color actually looks in person. When I went into the salon for a consultation, and by the way, I'm gonna leave my stylist Instagram and I'll leave the salon below as well. I basically told her I wanted balayage with baby lights in it, and I wanted more of a caramel warm color and what baby lights do, do does do does what baby lights do is it adds a lot of dimension to your hair they're like little strings of highlight and they can go up to like for example they can go all the way up to here or just a little like right here you can see there's a little blonde piece those are baby lights the very thin blonde pieces in my hair when i did go in for the consultation i took in some photos of like my hair goals what i want to achieve by the time i'm done lightening my hair this isn't the lightest that i'm planning on going i still want to go a little bit lighter and maybe tone it down even more like i still want warmth but maybe tone it a little bit more and go a little bit lighter i knew my hair was only gonna lift to a caramel brown like this like a light caramel brown i knew my hair was not gonna go as far as being platinum blonde obviously i had two n basically black hair she told me when i when i went in she told me that my hair was pretty much black even though i used that since i did use it with a 10 volume developer it grabbed onto my hair like a black hair dye so she basically went from black to this which i was not expecting i was not expecting my hair to even get this light so in my mind i went in there knowing okay i'm gonna walk out with like maybe a light brown caramel color so i also looked at inspo pictures like that because even though i want my end goal to be a little bit lighter and a little bit more like i want those lighter pieces a little bit more platinum it's not realistic for me to get there on the first sitting and we were there for seven hours you guys seven hours and I'm I'm obsessed with the result I'll stick to my hair being like this and just refresh it once in a while but I do want to go a little bit lighter eventually so yeah um, as I mentioned we were there for seven hours just working on my hair Yadi she just she killed it first of all seven hours straight like that just working on one person's hair she has a lot of patience you have to have a lot of patience to do stuff like that but yeah it took seven hours and based on what i like in my mind i think it was a seven step process just based on like what i think the first step was to do an initial trim so my hair before going into the salon was about like i want to say mid boob length it was about here i think we cut about half i'm saying we like if i was cutting my hair i think yadi cut about half an inch off of my hair in the beginning and then half an inch towards the end but that was the first step was to do a trim and that's another thing to keep in mind when you go in especially if you're going from black to a lighter color is you might have to trim if you don't want to trim then you're probably not going to be able to go as light and if you do then it's going to end up being a little bit brittle at the ends i for me it's like 
hair is hair my hair will grow back so I'll I'll trim it if I need to so then the second step was color correction and what that that's a whole other step from actually getting your hair lightened so color correction is basically removing the dye that I already had and the way that they remove it is by bleaching it so if you go to the salon and they tell you they're gonna have to do color correction first and then do balayage you're probably gonna have to pay more because color correction is a whole other step so also that's another thing to keep in mind so we did color correction that's when your hair is really orange it looks brassy you're just like what's going on with my hair but then later on down the line, you see that it all comes together. So she washed, blow dried, and then we went in for that second bleaching, which was considered balayage. And that's where you can really start to see the color come together. But it's still gonna look a little bit brassy because you still haven't toned. So once she did the balayage and the baby lights, then we went back and toned the hair. And that's when they add like the purple or the blue product so that it takes away that orange from your hair. The fifth bigger step was what she called color melt. And that's when, like when you first dye your hair, when you first bleach it and then you tone it, it doesn't really blend well with your roots. So you have to go in and color melt and make the color from your root melt into the bleach color so that's what makes it look nice and gradient and you don't see like any straight lines then she went ahead and did the last wash and blow dry and then she trimmed my hair another half an inch so in total we trimmed off about an inch and then let me see the last step was styling it of course so she went in with the straightener in the front and then i asked for curls that way i can see like exactly how it's gonna look when i style my hair because usually i have my hair curled and then that was basically the entire process I wasn't too specific on what type of cut I know I've had a few people um, ask me on Instagram like what style and cut I got and I wasn't really specific all I did was I told her I wanted a little bit more like choppy end because I eventually want to get extensions and if I did get a blunt cut I wouldn't be able to blend my hair as good with the extension so i wanted a little bit more choppy at the ends and textured so if you want a style like mine just basically go in you can obviously take a screenshot or go to my instagram and show them my photo and tell them that that's what you want or you can say you want caramel balayage with baby lights and if you plan on cutting your hair or trimming your hair like this you can say you want longer than shoulder length like mid shoulder like mid boob like just in this region that's how you want to cut it you want scissored ends you want it textured and you don't want it bulky at the bottom but now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some products if you have if I missed anything I went through that pretty quick I feel if I missed anything or you have other questions about my hair leave them below or I'll add little details in the description box that way you guys can just screenshot it but let me show you some stuff that I got I didn't get to get everything I had on my list and everything that you guys recommended because some of the stuff was sold out first up I have AG hair care color savior sulfate free shampoo and their color protection conditioner and this is what they look like the thing with me though I completely forgot to mention when I was asking for recommendations is I need products that are sulfate free because I got a Brazilian blowout a while ago and I'm thinking of going back to get a retouch and I'm, I'm not using the Brazilian blowout products even though I should be but I need to use sulfate free products so the shampoo sulfate free I don't think the conditioner is but who knows maybe I'll still give these two a try so I got those and these ones I don't think they're purple no, they're just like regular shampoo and conditioners. They're not toning. They're just for color treated hair. So I was really drawn to the brand Kenra. So I got their color maintenance shampoo and I got the color maintenance conditioner. And this is what these ones look like. Let me scoot over here. This is what these ones look like. Uh, yeah, the shampoo is not sulfate free either. So I don't know. These two I am gonna try out though. So this is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. I saw crazy good reviews on this one. It's an advanced dry thermal protectant and it also helps with blow drying. So it says, reduces blow dry time up to 50%, provides intense thermal defense up to 428 degrees and resists humidity for up to 20 hours. It's a lightweight formulation that detangles, smooths, increases shine. Ideal for medium textured hair. That sounds exactly like what I need. Kenra Root Lifting Spray. This is a volume building foam. I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be 
a spray, but it's supposed to help with the roots. So when my hair is curled, you can see my roots need a little loving. They need a little lift. They, they need a little something. So I'm planning on spraying this. Let me see if I can try it right now. Let me read instructions before I mess things up. On damp hair, spray onto parted sections. Yeah. So I can't use it right now. This is the infamous Clairol Shimmer Lights Conditioner. And I was going to get the shampoo, but it is not sulfate free. So I only got the conditioner, hopefully works as well. It is purple, so this is going to tone and take away any brassiness. Um, you can probably see right there the purple inside. My hair, some people's hair when it lifts or when you bleach it, it doesn't get as orange, but my hair, when it was lifted and when it was bleached it got really really orange so the brassiness is going to be so real i'm going to have to have this like on hand at all times i'm gonna have to end up getting the bigger bottle because i just know my hair is going to end up getting brassy like over time that's just the way my hair is but i've heard this one's really good a lot of people who do have blonde hair or lighter hair like to use it so i'm gonna give it a try that is it for this video hopefully it wasn't a little too long but i wanted to update you guys on my hair before i like jump on here and just start doing videos and you guys are like wait talk about your hair so again if you guys want to watch the vlog where i take you with me to the salon and take you through the process then head over to the vlog channel i'll link it below and then once again i'll link it up here so you can head over I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions that you have, leave them down below in the comments. I love you guys. Los quiero mucho. And I'll see you all in my next video. Yeah.